this is Cannibal. Today for Conquer 4, I'll be teaching how to do your own unit models into the game. As we'll be using this unit as an example. And we're going to be adding some planes into the game. And we'll be adding this Romanian one. So first thing you want to do is, let me just pull my toolbox up. Where is it? You want to do, you want to go to your eraser and just erase this. After you fully erase it, you want to go, go to your plane, which is here. What I do, I want to make this size 150. You want to make it 150, or you can make it any size you want, as long as it fits the original space. Not too big or small, but kind of like this size. The reason why I'm adding 3 cents, to, well, in the original picture, there was 3 tanks all beside each other. You know what? I just want to move this back a little more. One there. Two. And three. So that's basically what it is. First, we're going to go to, we're going to export this. Let me go here to my planes Just yes, double check what we do is we just go to our file and just double check if it's good. We'll open this, GIMP, there we go. So next step you want to do, so I have the three files, you want to make sure this is reading the right file. So how it says K6, you have to make sure it's K6 PNG for it to read it. The bin one, you don't have to change it much as long as you have the three files the same names. Next step is the DEF motions. So what I do is since I copy this, I'll you're gonna copy the original. I'll copy the same thing I did earlier. The original flag name. This is the motion. How you do it. This can work with any unit you want to do. If it's a tank, artillery you want to replace. I'll put a link in the description for the file. But just basically, this is what the, this is what basically you want to have. As uh, so this numbers, you don't have to change nothing. Same as the effect. Since we want to make it sure, we're just going to call it ROM for, the, for a read in the army settings. So we want to go here now. You just want to copy the last number here. We're going to add the same thing army settings. This is the same way if you want to add a unit to the game, like an extra Soviet unit or uh, for that certain country, we're going to copy it, the last block, paste it. Oops, let's go for it again. Copy this, paste it. Now we're going to change this to any number we want. We can make it to 8. Since we want to make it the same thing as in the DEF motion file, we're going to call it ROMAF. That won't be the unit name. That will be in the string tables file. Since we're giving it to Romania, we have to go to their country ID. Union. Of and let's find Romania. They are twenty four. So next, we're gonna go. We're gonna go all the way here for the countries. Twenty four. Then the next step, you want to go back to our where we put the country ID. So uh, let me just go there quickly. Wait, I went two down. As you want to copy this, paste it. Make it make sure it matches the number in the army settings. Or oh, you know will not show up. 
since we have it like this, now we can give it a name. Just to make sure, I want to get it right. If we call it the Romanian Air Force, copy this back to our string tables. Paste it. Let us fix the and that part's good. Another thing you want to make sure the DF motions. And yet one thing you have to make sure you cannot have extra space. Or it will lead to a crash. So that, so that happened to me earlier and it took me like almost like half an hour just to see what what I was doing wrong. You have to make sure the this match, this name matches in the army settings since that's what the file will read it from. If you're wondering what the type means, this is means type 5 means it, it, it would do more damage when an Air Force General is commanding them. Save it. Now we're gonna put the we're gonna start putting the files back together. While that load, I was gonna get my emulator set up. So it's down where it is. GLC models. I'll tell you what file goes where. First, we're going to move the, the string tables into assets folder. Just to make sure, files right, 10108, 10108, good. Next thing you want to do, you want to go back to your pictures and we're going to move the K6 there since that's where our units are from. We'll take a look at the pictures. As we see, we have it right there. And now we're to make sure the file is ready in K6, good. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, move these three files into here. All right, the next step, we had to go all the way to the, this file here. Sorry, my voice is tiring. Sore throat, catching the flu. Move the DEF motions. Double check a final time. ROMAF. ROMAF. Good, we can move this file back. Make sure I saved it. Indeed, that's good. All right, move this file here. Then you can go to the JSON file. And move the army settings one. You have to make sure there's no extra, you're not missing a quotation or is it a crash and it's going to be a long time to fix. What's the bug this time? We have to set a find the all right now we can save it. I will show the planes just a little bit. I think this is the French ones the French use. Japanese. Yeah, no, this is I think the this is the one the French used, the first one was British. Italian. United States. Romanian. Germany. I did manage to find one without the swastika and do, just to keep it out of it. So that being request, I don't add swastika. Just some people ask, I said, alright, it's alright, I'll do it then. All right, now we can move this file back.
I will put a link in the description how to do it. If you want to do artillery one, it is a little complicated. I will put both files, the ones for the tank ones and the artillery ones. Because basically, this this is for World Concrete. So that, I just found this out like l last week. Because the person who's working on the Star Wars mod and the European War 4, this other mod was telling me how to replace it. So I, I decided to try it out and manage to understand how to do it. Let's go here and let's find Romania. So we go to Romania. Please don't. As you see, we have their planes right here. So we'll build it like this. And we'll skip a turn. I will show off the flag the planes for the other countries after this turn. I don't think Germany will build one in this turn, but we'll find out. So we'll put an air general, let's see. His attack will attack this city. So about 60 damage. As you see, even the planes move left and right. So let's go, what if I, I'll show you, show you the British plane. I left my United States if they build one yet. Nope, but I think they have a plane, commandos, nope, I put all commandos here. Uh, I'll show you the Japanese planes. There is this one here. The French have their, they have their own planes. I will be added to the Soviet Union for the Soviets and other factions. But for the Cold War, I'll be using, I'll be re replacing them with jets for that. 1962 and 91 conquest and that's basically about it before i end it i'll show you the example of what i mean let me just load up my world conquer 3 mod i have to find it like this one here if you do plan like using a like a naval attack i mean Artillery like this, you have to replace all these files, like, and it's very complicated. But I will put a link in the description about the files I use. Basically, the format of. I was using the original tank unit and, and a format of this unit. So basically, you can just copy, you can use the same thing. You don't touch none of these files, but you just always have to change the name and the RES file. That's a very well said. And that's all for today's mod tutorials on how to change units. A big thanks goes to the Star Wars mod for teaching me how to do this. So all credit goes for them for teaching me how to do this. And that's all for today's mod review. Don't I, mod, that's all for today's mod review. Sorry about that. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Have a great day.